Welcome back to another help video for year 5. Today we're going to be subtracting decimals with very decimal places. Our success criteria is I understand place value columns, I can subtract, and I can line up numbers according to their decimal place. Our keywords are column method, decimal point, place value, place value chart, units, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. We're going to be subtracting and taking away, repartitioning, checking our answers through estimation, rounding, and inverse and using a number line method as well. So let's have a look at the first question. We're presented with a number line and we have two points here, one centimeter and 1.5 centimeters. And we have A as one centimeter and B as a mystery number. What would help for us to work out the difference is to find out what these little lines or divisions are worth. One method is to guess what each jump could be so maybe one centimeter add one hole would be two, three, four, five, and six. But six doesn't work because this is 1.5. So we need to go lower than, uh, lower than one, sorry. So I'm going to try a jump of 0 0.5. One and 0 0.5 is 1.5. Two, 2.5, three, 3.5. Obviously 0 0.5 is too high as well. And we can keep going until we get to 0 0.1 as a jump. Or we could find the difference between 1 and 1.5, which is 0 0.5. This whole jump is 0 0.5. And then we can divide 0 0.5 by the five little lines, which would give us 0 0.1. And this is my calculation in working that out. 1.5 take away 1 would give us all of this area. And then divide by 5 lines. Each little line is worth 0 0.1. So our jumps are 1 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. And we've reached 1.5. So it must be the jumps of 0 0.1. So now it's asking us to work out the difference between A and B. We know that A is 1, but could you tell your partner what B might be according to the jumps? Okay, now you've had a time to discuss. 1.5 at 0 0.1 would be 1.6 and B is 1.7. So this means the difference between A and B is 1.7 take away 1 whole. 1.7 take away one whole. We know 7 tenths take away 0 tenths is 7, and 1 ones take away 1 is 0. So our answer that the difference between A and B is 0 0.7. Let's move on to the next question. Here we have 10.562 take away 0 0.07, and we're going to go ahead and place the numbers in the correct columns. We could use um, inverse to check our answer in the end. So let's see, let's try and put them in the correct places first, according to the decimal places. So we have decimal point 10, 1 10, 0 ones, 5 tenths, 6 hundredths, and 2 thousandths. In here we have 0 ones, let's start with the decimal point, 0 ones. 0 tenths and 7 hundredths. We're going to subtract them. We're going to start with the right hand column. 2 thousandths take away the placeholder needed. 0 thousandths is 2. 6 hundredths take away 7 hundredths. We cannot do because 7 is too large. So we're going to repartition. 5 tenths becomes 4 tenths. And here we have 16 hundredths. 16 hundredths take away 7 hundredths is 9 hundredths. Our tenths, four tenths take away zero tenths, which is four tenths. Zero ones, zero ones is zero. And one tenth take away zero tenths is one tenth. We have the decimal point. So our answer is 10.492. We need to check our answer though. So using the inverse, we could do 10.492. Add 0 0.0770, 70. 
which should give us 10.4, sorry, 10.562, two hundredths, sorry, two thousandths, sixteen hundredths, four five tenths, zero ones, and one one. We have 10.562, so that must mean our answer is correct. If we need another example, there's one to practice below. And you can try 9.324, take away 0 0.437, and write that on your whiteboards and try to work it out. Our fluency, we have used the column method to subtract the following three questions. The most important thing is to make sure you are lining up your decimal points first before subtracting. Our place value grid, use it to subtract these numbers. And number three, I had four pounds. I spent some money on some grapes. I have two pound 12 left. How much were the grapes originally? You have two marks, one mark for answer and one mark for unit. Reasoning and problem solving. Ellie is trying to solve the following problem. What is the difference between 0 0.41 and 26 over 100? This is her working out. Is she correct? Why or why not? In this question, you need to be able to prove it, then show the correct answer. In problem solving, you have work out the difference between A and B, where A is just up to 9 centimeters, and B is very further on from 10 centimeters. Again, the best thing is to do is to find out what each of these divisions are worth. Hopefully this video helped and make sure you tune in next time.